So if we're talking about you know complex carbohydrates, uh, typically in the form of whole grains, even in the form of fruits, we see that consumption of those foods is consistently associated with a lower risk of cardiovascular disease, all-cause mortality. There was a recent paper on, uh, I believe it was whole grains and dementia as well, um, seeing you know improvements in outcomes there. Wherever this these concerns over those foods is coming from, I have no idea when it comes to the actual literature. It's incredibly one-sided. It's one of the most one-sided areas of the nutrition literature out there when it comes to whole grains and fruit intake and health outcomes. Actually, this is, I think, a good lesson across the board when it comes to nutrition. It's really just honing in and speculating on these possible mechanisms of action. So basically what's happening is you'll see people suggest that, okay, sugar-sweetened beverages might maybe associated with higher risk of something like cardiovascular disease. We know that uh, sugar can raise your blood sugar levels um, after you consume it. We know that high blood sugar level you know, is a sign of diabetes. We know that that's bad in, in many different ways. And then it just, it all gets conflated. Like, okay, anything that contains sugar or carbohydrates is going to have the exact same effect. When in reality, you look at what is the actual impact on health outcomes when you consume a given food, you know, in its whole form. And when you do that, you just see that those foods are consistently beneficial. And even in randomized controlled trial, you know, feed fruit or whole grains, and you consistently see improvements in blood sugar markers, at least in people with prediabetes or type 2 diabetes.